Hey everybody, welcome to Prittle Monday. Prittle Monday, where the puzzles are real and the cookies don't matter. What are Prittle Mondays? Well, it's my little show. I have some fun. Uh, we also have people in the chat that also have some fun. We work on puzzles and riddles together. Uh, we trying What we're trying to do is to get better at armchair treasure hunts. Armchair treasure hunts, very often, they have puzzles and riddles inside them. And in my opinion, if we can do, if we can get better at puzzles and riddles, we can get better at armchair treasure hunts. Puzzles and riddles, they allow us to work on our lateral thinking, our ability to think outside the box, and we get to improve our vocabulary too. And there he is, Brian P. Woohoo, he says. Uh, yes. Uh, if you have a puzzle or riddle you'd like me to work on, my email address is ajrainville1973 at gmail.com. Amy Seeks, welcome. I just watched your video uh, I think you, that you put out yesterday on the different armchair treasure hunts for H. Charles Beale, and I, I liked it very much. Uh, I am personally uh, have been working on the Rogue Miners Cache in West Virginia. Not only is it my home state, but it is a beautiful area down in New River Gorge. And Tweety's here too. All right. Um, what I want to talk about first is, yes, Brian P., he, he figured out the code by Master Mofios. And I was reading the article on Mysterious Writings. You should go to Mysterious Writings and read the article yourself. But the thing that got me, saw that video of me looking very, of you looking. Oh, yeah, that's right. I did, uh, I put out a video of me looking for it about um, a year or two ago. Uh, the Brian P, he talks about solving the Master Mofios riddle, but the thing that it got me is like when Jenny asked in the sixth question, what do you enjoy most about the hobby of armchair treasure hunting? And Brian, and I'm going to quote what he says here, there is no doubt what my answer is here. It's the aha moment. It's a natural hider for me. The reward is nice, but sometime from now I'll forget what I spent it on, but I'll always remember the aha moment. It's very intense moment for me. Yes. Yes, Brian. I am completely on board. We are here for the aha moments. And we are here not just for armchair treasure hunts, but we get smaller aha moments here on Purtle Monday, working on puzzles and riddles. <laughs> Amy Seeks likes that. What's that aha high too? Yes. Yes. Whatever it is, it's a dopamine rush or something. Uh, I've experienced it myself. Um, I, I found one of the, uh, the very first... Uh, golden medallion for uh, mysterious writings. It was just 45 minutes from my house. I figured it out the night before. I couldn't sleep. I could hardly sleep that night because I figured, well, it's dark out. I'm not going to go look for it in the dark. And man, I couldn't sleep all night long. And then I found it and I had an adrenaline high all day long. <laughs> all right, let's get to the puzzles and riddles. The first one I want to work on, I saw this one. I thought this was pretty good. These items have something in common. Respond with something else with this property. So we've got five words, and they have something in common. Hero, O, Poo, Live, and Foray, or Foray. So we're looking for something that is in common with all five of these words. These items have something in common. Respond with something else with this property. Yeah, I'll see. I don't know. Is that is that even a real word? Let's go ahead and take it out. P U is correct. It's on Snapchat. It is on dictionary.com. Plutonium. Okay, what's well, the symbol of plutonium? All right. I was hoping it wasn't going to be a, an abbreviation or a symbol, but it's plutonium. <laughs> Doppelbron says zero. He says there's zero things in common. I will give you a hint in that you have to change something in each word to make it something else. I will give you a hint for that. And let's see, I'm, I was thinking of putting this aside. So they all have something in common and I'm trying to see if I can. They have people in common. See if I can tuck it away like right there. Am I covering it up? Nope. Those five words have something in common. So I'm going to leave those up there. Those five words 
have something in common, but yes, you do have to change something. So I've got a couple of, re well, I wasn't going to do rebuses, but we can do rebuses. Rebuses are one of our favorite things here on Proto Monday. You, they either mean a word or a common phrase, and it's there sort of graphically or in a picture form. Owen Pun. All right, you're, Brian, he's our, our, our uh, what's the uh, code breaker, Charlie? He's trying to, he's trying to add ends to the end. No, it's, but it's not that, Brian. But I'm going to leave him up there. Oh, Sweetie has a guess. Red in face. Oh, yo, you're talking about the, the, the rebus. Corporate reduction, says Amy. Could be, could be that one. Yeah, what's What was the one you had? I was looking at the first one. Yeah, and what did you have? Red in face. You've almost got it. It's a common expression. Red in the face, yes. Red in the face. I got it. You got it. You're getting a cookie. Thank you, <laughs> Sassy, welcome. K Pro, welcome. Yeah, red in the face is correct, Sassy. Sweetie just beat you out. <laughs> and let's see. Amy thinks it's corporate reductions is the second rebus. Let's take a look. And for those who have just joined us, we have five words, they have something in common. Mrs. AJ gets a cookie, is correct, from K Pro. So we've got five words, they have something in common. You have to change something. I haven't said what, what you have to change, but you have to change something in each word. But then they ha all have something in common. I'm leaving those five words up there for if anybody is going to figure them out. Uh, corporate reductions, let's see what the answer is. Corporate downsizing, yes. Amy Seeks gets a cookie. And let me bring up the next rebuses. Hmm. Interesting. A mercy cookie. No, that was a correct. You were the first one. Corporate reductions, corporate downsizing. That works. And if you are interested in armchair treasure hunts, you should go check out Amy Seeks's channel. She talked about all of the armchair treasure hunts that are out there right now and gives them, uh, talks about what they are, sort of the benefits and the downsides of certain kinds. Uh, I personally like the, like the boots on the ground uh, ones. I like the ones that are just armchair. I like those too. Uh, but I'm a big fan of the proxy item. I love the proxy items because I like to know when an, an armchair treasure hunt is finished. Those are my preferred ones. Uh, although I'm working on the Rogue Miners cache, which doesn't fit that definition, I'm willing to change my mind sometimes, particularly in a nice area. So we've got two Rebuses out here. Wine for ease. Pumpkin pie weenie. Hey, Alan Kay is here too. Welcome. Amy's still dating to find one. Okay, cool. That's cool. But I, I appreciate the time because I did a smaller version one in 2019 of sort of uh, what the sort of the armchair treasure is for beginners and it takes a lot of time and I appreciate the time that you put into that Amy because the the time spent shows in the quality of the video much better than mine pumpkin pie weenie says Alan Kay mm, I don't, oh and weenie he thinks it's weenie <laughs> It's got to be something other than pumpkin pie, though. Like three pieces of pumpkin pie or something? Piece of pumpkin pie, says Sassy. Pecan pie. Mm. Not sure. What was Sassy think is wine for ease? I don't know. Let's check out what the answers are. I don't have too many of these to go. Piece of pumpkin pie. Okay. We'll see. 
Peas, piece of pumpkin pie. Sassy gets that one. Cookie for Sassy. Peas of pumpkin pie. And we've got wine with four E's at the end. Wine E's? No. So what the answer is. Win with E's. Sassy had that one. Qu close enough. Wine. Win with E's. So it was just win with ease win with ease i will give that to you sassy i saw wine with ease and i didn't quite get that i should have figured it out win with ease cookie for sassy <laughs> wine emoji all right okay i think i got the second one I'm not sure about the first one. I'm not sure about the first one. <clears throat> oh, try to understand. Try to understand nice nice and cloud nine yes nemo welcome that's got to be it right try to understand and uh, on top of cloud nine yep 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 i did not see that one uh bobby d bobby d welcome cookie for bobby d and cloud nine for nemo Cookie for Nemo. Josh, welcome. Yeah, you got a little bit of a delay, Sassy, but... All right, more Rebuses. Mm. First cookie ever, Nemo. Oh my goodness. <laughs> In between jobs, that's gotta, I was thinking that too. I'll, I'll admit I got that one, but I'm not sure what the second one. In between jobs has got to be it. K-Pro gets her cookie. So K-Pro is good for the rest of the night. Trial and error. Hmm. I don't quite see that. Braided trail? Oh, I think I am. Mm, I might know what it is. Is it trail mix? Yes. I'm thinking it's trail mix, and I couldn't I couldn't hold back. I had to say it out loud. Yes. Give yourself a cookie. <laughs> I get a, you think I get a cookie for that one? Yes. I think it's trail mix. I got my little aha moment. Oh, Bobby D Bobby D says yeah too. Alright, let's see. It's got to be trail mix, right? Woo! All right. <laughs> yes, in between jobs is correct. Long way. Trail mix. I'm taking I'm taking that cookie. Oh, that's the end of our rebusiness. All right. <clears throat> All right, we found this website, Cookie for AJ. Yes, Cookie for me. I actually if she had if she had cookies made out, I would eat one right now too. <laughs> IRL cookies. Sometimes cookies matter. We found this website with riddles, and it has a riddle IQ quiz. The riddle IQ quiz will, quiz will give you a short riddle test, see if you can come up with some possible solutions. Sassy got the big puzzle. Yes. You change one letter in each word. Whoops, I'm bringing the whole thing. I didn't mean to do that. Yes, yes, yes. You change one letter in each word and you can get a number. Zero, one, pi, which is the weird one. Uh, five, live, change to five, or live, change to five. And 40, 40. <laughs> that is well done, sassy. Paste. 
Cookie for sassy. You change one letter in each word. I guess I should bring it up. Let me see if I can bring it up here. Yeah. Each becomes an, a number with a single letter change. So 0, 1, pi, 5, and 40. Sassy should get a dozen cookies. <laughs> so Riddle IQ Kids, we're going to work on this one together. There's 10 riddles, and they're going to give us a, sort of a, a grade, I guess, at the end. Where was that puzzle? Yeah, we're getting to it. There's some cookies, baby. Oh, I get a cookie? You get some cookies. <laughs> oh, I get some cookies. Not homemade cookies, but I'll take them. There you go. Uh-huh. All right, I'm going to eat one while once I get the riddle set up here. Uh, are you good at solving riddles? Take this fun quiz. Measure measure your riddle solving quotient, your riddle cue. Type in your answer to each riddle. Click on answer. Continue through all riddles given. There's 10 riddles. I haven't looked at them. You mean with the one with zero? Where was that? Oh, I had it up in the corner. I'm sorry. I had this one up in the corner. Duh, duh, duh. Uh, they each word had something in common. Respond with something else with this property, and the five words you had to you had to take one letter out, and they give you a number. So I had that up in the corner. <laughs> all right, all right. So we we put an answer through each of the ten riddles, and they'll give us a percentage score at the end. So are we ready to take a riddle quiz? A riddle quiz. Why can't I say riddle quiz? If you get flustered, annoyed, confused, distracted, you may restart. Please note this is just a fun quiz. Don't take it too seriously. No, we take our riddles seriously. All right. What has fingers but can't type? What has fingers but can't type? What has fingers but can't type? Amy says lakes, a lake, lake. Okay. Because you're thinking the Finger Lakes. Lori James says chicken. Lori, welcome. A river has fingers. A glove. I like I like a glove, actually. Hooli, welcome. Baseball knit. Bananas. Bananas have fingers? Baseball mitt. All right, I see a lot of gloves. We're going to go with glove. I think that's the best one. Oh, butterfingers. Okay. <laughs> We're going to answer. Our answer was 0% right. Okay. It was not the answer they were looking for. We'll see what the answers are. What has ears but can't hear? Okay. Well, I, I think we know this one, or at least I do. <laughs> well, at least you're not late. <laughs> yes. It's got to be corn, right? Yeah. It's got to be. Corn. corn, corn, corn. Absolutely. 100% right. All right, we've got 50%. What has arms but can't hug? I'm going to eat my cookie now. Potato. What has ears but can't? Yeah, potato has eyes. Oh, potato has eyes. Okay. we got Sweetie. She doesn't want to be on camera, but she's, she's <laughs> helping us out. What has arms but can't hug? The antenna. Sweater, river chair. I was thinking chair, like a like a chair. River, coat. I'm going to eat my cookie now. All right, I see chair, and I like chair best. Got it. What has a head and a foot but no body? What has head and feet? No, it's not head and tails. I mean, what has a pointy head and feathers on their butt? Oh, bed, bed, bed. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, you guys are good. I didn't see that at all. Bed. When is a car not a car? When 
When is a car not a car? <laughs> yeah, Amy knows what I'm talking about. Realized bourbon red. Yes, with a pointy head and feathers on its butt. Where am I? It's a truck. Lori James says truck. Mm. When is a car not a car? <laughs> Come on, we're going to use our lateral thinking. <laughs> when is a car not a car? Trolley, train, oh, a train car? When is a car not a car? It's got to be something. When it turns into a driveway or onto a road. Hmm. Turns into something. Well, I, when I see what you're saying, road or driveway, I keep thinking of the classic, you know, um, drive in a, or park in a driveway and you drive in a parkway. <laughs> I don't know why, when, it's, when you say driveway, I kept, that's what I keep thinking of. When is a car not a car? When it turns into a driveway or onto a road. Yeah, don't be afraid to go live, Amy. It's not too difficult. A webcam and a laptop, and that, that's all you need. It's the turns into phrase that is key. When a car turns into something. Part of a train. I like that long way, yep. Yeah. It's all good, long way. Oh, it's all good, Amy. It's, I guess the the I had a fear too of I'm gonna I'm doing a show and then nobody shows up, but I I don't think you'll have that problem. I don't think you would have that problem. That was my fear. I had that fear doing this show. Turns into a parking space. A garage. All right, I'm I'm willing to accept your answer, Sassy. It's a turns into. But I need to, what What should I put into the answer? When is a car not a car? When it's a car. Turns into a parking space. We'll get the answers afterwards. Okay, I'll put driveway. Answer was 25% white, right. Oh, okay. I bet I had to be turns into a driveway. I think that was what the answer was. All right, I think Sassy got that one. What has a mouth but never smiles? Okay, we saw this This one you should get that pretty easy. What has a mouth but never smiles? Yeah, Amy's got it. River. It's got to be. River, 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 river. All right, what has a face but no head? Okay, this is another another one of our usual ones, or ones we've seen. River, river, river. Everybody got that one. <clears throat> what has a face but no head? There we go. Clock. A card, a jar. Okay. I'm pretty sure it's clock, though. What has leaves but isn't a tree? What has leaves but isn't a tree? Yeah, the answer was clock. Okay, I was kind of thinking of table leaves, which Brian has and Bobby also has. Book, table, table. All right, I see a lot of tables. We'll go with table. Answer is not table. All right, I wonder if it's book then. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. 
what has eyes but can't see. All right. We just talked about that. I think you might be right, Laurie. I think it was book. Or you had clock and, and then book. Yeah, it's, it might be book. Tables are wooden. <laughs> oh, a needle. I wasn't even thinking needle. Yeah, but um, but it's plural. Eyes makes me think of something you said before. <laughs> Hurricane. Yeah, I was thinking potato. It is potato. Only because it's plural, sassy. I would have liked I if it was singular, but the fact that there's plural, I'm going to go with potato. Zero percent right. Okay, it's not potato. We'll find out what the answer is afterwards. What has legs but can't walk? Table. What has legs but can't walk? I, I like that answer too. I don't know if they heard you. <laughs> it's okay. All right. I see a lot of tables. I see chairs there too. We're going to try table. Table was the answer. All right, it says, says we have room for improvement. Try thinking harder next time. All right, see what the answers are. Fingers that can't type gloves. Ears, corn. Arms but can't hug chair. When is a car not a car when it turns into a driveway? Okay, Sassy had that one. Wine for the last one? All right, we'll get there. What has a mouth but never smiles? River, face but no head, clock. So the answer was book. What has eyes but can't see potatoes? What has legs? I thought I put table in there. What did I put in there? Maybe I mistyped it. All right, 60%. Room for improvement, apparently. <laughs> All right, what time is it? 8.27. No backseat, says Huli. <laughs> All right. For, we're going to do one game of words on stream. Let me shrink myself. Words on stream. This is our favorite game. We're looking for four-letter words. When you figure out the four-letter word, put it right into the chat. There is an update to the game where they now have this lock feature. You can only put in one word until the next lock. And then once the comes lock unlocks, you can put in another one. If you're the first one to put it in, your name will be right there on the game. See, Brian just put in spin, but it doesn't count because he has to wait until the lock comes up, and then he can put spin. Hooli's going to be back. All right. Long way got prison. Nice. So they added a layer of difficulty to this game recently with this lock feature. I see peon. Iron is a nice one. Irons, yeah, I can just add the S to the end. Oh, I might as well do that to my word. <laughs> oh, ions is one. You can look for three-letter words and then add an S at the end. So I bet um, nips. If somebody wants to put in nips... Okay, I'll put in nips. Oh, I guess it didn't work. Hmm. Alrighty. Well, we skipped two levels. Let's do the next one. And continue. So as you can see, we're looking for at least four letter words. And when you see the four letter words, they're the the same number of letters are in alphabetical order. So that helps and figure out what words we need to do. You thought you put in nips too? I guess it's not a not a word for this. All 
Bobby got the big one. Cinnamon. Nice. So we're looking for at least four letter words. Oh, Lori James got my word. Ah, I saw a manic too. Mm. Put in Micah. So we have only a couple four letter words. The four letter words is either A, words that begins either A or C. And let's see, maybe O or N words for the for the last four letter word. I don't know if that's a word. Nope. Amy got moan. I'm not sure. A couple of five letter words, either A or C five letter words. Oh, how about Amino? There we go. Manioc. That's an interesting word. Did any other ones come up? Doesn't look like it. We're going to look up. Manioc definition. It's another name for cassava. I hear what it sounds like. Manioc. Oh my. <laughs> Manioc. 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 Cassava. It's a starchy tuberous root of a tropical tree. Okay. Words on stream. Sassy got the most points that time, and she's got the most points overall. And here we go. Next round. We've got level five. Oh, not too many words in this one. Uh, the lock thing works is that you have to... You can't put in another word and then it counts until the next, till the lock opens up. So you can see the names have locks on them right now. So Amy Seeks, Bobby D, and Brian P all have locks. And you can't put in another word until the locks are disappear on the name. And then you can put in a word. See, like Brian put in tile, but he can't get it to work because it was under the lock. Very annoying. I'm not a fan. I, I'm thinking they're trying to have it so that it's not one person getting all of getting all of the words. Twal. I'm not sure why that one wasn't one of them. I'm pretty sure that's how you spell it too. Or is it two L's? No, it says one L. Not sure why it didn't work. So we've got two four-letter words. One of them definitely begins with a T. And I know what that word is. Oh, Sassy got it, tilt. And the other four-letter word is either an L, O, or T word. Low T, okay. So we're gonna move on to level Eight, L-O-T-I. All right, here's our first fake letter. So we have one letter that will not work. Plural of lotus, makes sense. Not a word you see very often. I'm gonna throw a guess at the big word. Hey, I got it.
So the B is fake. Do not use the letter B. The B is fake. B as in boy. Use words that, um, create words that use the letters in lizard. Layer, liar, layered, nice. Uh, I see arid. I saw your guess. It was just later. No, I'm not able to type. My system keeps locking up. Oh, okay. I understand. We have one L word. We also have either an R or a Z word. Lard, nice. Hmm. Ill. No. I don't know. Real, R E R I A L, nice. Brian P got one right at the end there. And we will continue. Sassy is in the lead. Once again, we have a fake letter. Hey, thanks for coming, Longway. We have a fake letter. I have a guess on the big word. Four, three, two, one. Speedy, yes, so the N is fake. The N as in Nancy is fake. Do not use the letter N. Speed, deeps, nice. Oop, did I go too soon? Oh, there's no N. I'm not even listening to my, there's no Ns. <laughs> so we'll do that instead. Dies, that's nice. Might as well try. Eyed. So I might as well piggyback on Sassy and put in eyes. So we have a D word, D or an E word, but if it's a D word, it has to be after D, Y, E, S. Oh, it's S, P, S, P. Yes. Oh, I got it. <laughs> Sassy almost got it. <laughs> Sorry, Sassy, I beat you to that one. <laughs> All right, level 14, let's go. Okay, we have a fake letter and a hidden letter. So there's a letter that we can't see in addition to the fake letter. Brian and Amy have figured out that both vowels are good. Okay, so the M, M as in Mark, is fake. So that means we have M O N, M is fake. N. I can't do it that quickly. But the M as in money is fake. But we don't know what the hidden letter is yet. Mm. But we know the M as in mark is fake. Maybe 
it's there. No. It's a K. Oh, it's broken. And I'll throw in broke. Oh, nice. Well, I don't think we're going to continue. Yeah, that's about it. K was the hidden letter. That's, a, that's an unusual hidden letter. Broken. All right, let's see. <laughs> Bonk is correct. <laughs> Laurie James. All right, Sassy got 93 points. They have a point system now. Brian P's got 86. Amy has 45. Bobby D has 43. Nemo is 42. Laurie James has 19. Longway has 13 points. We're going to play a little uh, thing that... I I tried last week and it was pretty popular. It's called Code Cracker, this Australian sort of puzzle um, website. It looks like a crossword puzzle. However, what we have is just every, we, we're trying to create words, but all we're given is the letters. We're given every single letter location. And as a given, they gave us D and S. And so, we're looking to create words, and once we give letters, like let me do an example. Let's see, uh, like this one is probably either an E or an O. So I, if I put an E, it will give me every single E location, or if I, if I call it an O, it will give every single location as an O. All right, Brian P already thinks 20, this is 20, right? He already thinks that's E, I, I kind of agree. So the, this is usually a name at the top, some like a celebrity name or something at the top, although it's an Australian website. We don't necessarily know. Um, but we're trying to make words based on this information. Every time we add, we're given in this puzzle all the D's and the S's. Laura James says A. Which one is A? I don't know if you can see the numbers. Two across is Levy, says Sassy. So she thinks that's an L, and that's a V. Okay. So this would be lava, because it's not going to be an O, an I, or a U. So I'm going to think that's an A. You can't see the numbers? Oh, bummer. Laura James can't see the numbers. All right, I'm sorry, Laura. I don't know how to make it more contrasted. Helen is the top. Uh, that would work if we didn't already have L. If we're thinking this is Levy, and this, the hard part is going backwards. So if this is Helen... That could be it. If this is an N, though, that means Helen Lynn or something. It could, it could be. Brian thinks three is U, okay. And seven is K. I think seven is A. All right, I don't see that. I'm going to undo those. Sweetie thinks 10 is H. Sash is something eshed. I like that. Amy thinks 11 is M. For maid, that could be. That looks almost like madness right there. Could be Helen Morse. If that's an M, then we... Oh, th there's a double letters here, just so you know. It's, um, there's double letters, so this is either... I'll just throw an S. Oh, I already did S. Uh, like T. There's double letters up there. I guess you can't see... Eh, I wish that the letters were... I mean, the numbers were darker for you. Okay, Bobby thinks 14 is M. Oh, we already have M down here. 
I'm going to go ahead. Oh, it can't be Madness because I already used A. Helen Reddy's. Okay. But this is Elevate. It already looks like... This Now it looks like Peter. She's from Oz. Okay. See, I, but you, you, um, it does fit sassy, but I hate to undo this because then. It, it messes up some of the other letters. It looks like it might be Peter. Something. Uh, I don't like this. Peter Laurie, Peter Laurie, <laughs> harder than it looks. <laughs> oh, here we go, Peter. Okay, Peter. Ooh. Oh, I think the ch the chat thinks it's Peter Laurie. Yeah, the hard part, Amy, is when you make a mistake and you have to go backwards. This looks like Vow and Weasel swatted. That works. This looks like Latched. Does it work everywhere? Yeah, look at this. This looks like med Medical. We're going to undo that. I'm going to ignore chat for a second. Addicts, Emit. This looks good. 3 equals I. I think I... Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're right. Four is N. Haunted mute. I like it. All right, we'll we'll play another. We'll play this again because I think I'm I'm ignoring chat. Thirteen equals U. We'll we'll do this again. Unhinge. Egotist. I'm the one of my letters that are left. Fatness and fade, rift, examine, extends, what's left, K. Weakest, you are the weakest link. All right, we'll do another one. But at least people understand what we're going for. All right, so this puzzle, we're given D and L. D and L. All right, the first one I see is this one up here. That's either an A or an I. It's got to be. A or an I. Done for the bottom left. I'll give it a shot. D-O-N-E. And this is still an A or an I. Love or live? Well, I just used E. If the, if this is E, then done doesn't work at the bottom. Nemo thinks it's lard. Down or done? Well, I'm looking at this word right here. And I think it's unlikely it's O-E at the end, unless it was like canoe or something. But I have another O here. What else do we have? Down instead? Let me try down. D-O-W-N. I like it how there's only one W in the whole thing. Down. And then somebody had... What was it? Live. We'll try it. Live, and let's see what what other words come up. Five is a. Is this five? Colon.
No, actually, okay, it can't be E because this is definitely a, well, the, I, the V could be wrong. But we've got issues down here. I'm going to give up these and start over. Huli thinks 11 is A. All right. Sassy thinks well, that's a lot of C's. Oh, and we already have L. L is one of the given, Sassy. L is one of our given letters, so it's not going to be colon. I think O is wrong. Yeah, okay, it's definitely not double A's. All right, we're starting over. Starting over. Ill or all. That That's... I do agree with that. Nemo thinks it's like, okay? L-I-K-E. All right, it's definitely not like because we're not going to have two Ks in a row. Not like. Yeah. Title subject. Yeah, we're not given a title other than this. It's usually a, a name when I've played this game before. A name at the top. Sometimes we could just use letter frequency. So I was looking at. Oh, we're given D. How about if I made it S? Lies. What about late? Could be sassy right there. Sassy. Oh, okay, this is not a real word down here. All right, I'm willing to try a different one. Sassy thinks late. All right, late does not work because of this word down here. Bobby thinks it's life. Okay, L-I-F-E. All right. Uh, I don't think so. How about lies doesn't work either. There's something about this this word that combines with what this is going on up here. Having a hard time getting started though. Brian thinks two is I. Okay. Well, that means five is A. So I'll go with that I and that A. Oh, we've got ill and all down here. That's interesting. trying to make another word other than ed i see a lot of see d is one of our givens and ed would be common one list nemo race loft it's okay two and five are a and okay 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 maybe my e does not quite work Unless somebody can figure out what letter that is right there. Layer. If that's an R. I'm not sure about that. 12. <coughs> Excuse me. 12 is M. Are you thinking this is like dime? My E might be wrong. Ten might be a D for dad and put in daddy. Oh, D is already a given. Because <laughs> Zoom text is Amy. D is one of our givens, Sassy. D and L are given to us. <clears throat> Hopefully it's not <clears throat> coronavirus. I think it's just allergies. Lame. So again, we're thinking See, it, it does something with this word down here. Lame, lamp. Oh, now we're doing Oh, I like lamp. 
I like lamp. Pappy or poppy. This would be mapped. Yeah, sissy would work too. I've got A and I. I'm not sure what this big vertical word would be, but... Mapped, puppy. It could be puppy too. Uh, except it's not going to have... we got two U's up here. Um, so at best, it's an O. That would be oboe. Mm. I'm not sure. Middle word doesn't work. All right. Immulum. All right. We're have to give up on the M. Was there another one that ended with P? No. Land. Scoop. Snoop. S N O O P. Hmm. Oh no, mem M doesn't work down here because I've got M and L. All right, we have to give up on that. Capped. Mm, I sick. It works for this C L. Capped. Oh, but then it doesn't work up here. Oh, man. I think this game is one where you get it like right at the beginning or you don't get it at all. <laughs> if my E is correct, what would be this word down here? I isn't right. Man, I, I really want it to be right. Lact is a word, L A C T, L A C L A C T. So it could be like taddy, catted. All right, it doesn't work down here. Mm. Easels, isles, no, that doesn't work. Tippy. Switch A and I, says Brian. All right, you got it. We'll delete I and A. Lee is a word. Easels, assails. All right, these look like real words. These are potential words. I like this one. Plea. Yeah, plead. I think that's plead right there. I agree. Lisp. L I S P. All right. I I'm thinking this is a G. I like eagle. Ah, but slig isn't a word. It's got to be slug. What else we got? So somebody wanted lisp. Okay, sipped. I'm liking this. P A Pagan. I don't know. Lads. Let's see. I'm looking for lads. P for puppy. Except it can't be puppy because we've got a double U over there. So if I put a U here, I, I think we are on the right track. How about if I look at the word up here? Something gains, maybe? 11 equals T. I'll try it. Spelt. Mm, 
maybe. Poppy. Oh, I like that because then the O is okay over there. Greta Garbo. Ah. Oboe blip. Book cases. I think we I think we have a winner. Lettuce. Greta Garbo. I think that that's helps us here. I think we got this. Oh, uh, Hint of Riches is going on right now. Go watch a Hint of Riches. I think we've got this one wrapped up. Do I have R? Carrot? No. Oh, Pagan. Go watch a Hint of Riches. We've got this one wrapped up. Equip 8 equals N. I think I got that one. Yep, 8 equals N. Is it you. what's that? One is you. One is you. Okay. I've got you out there already. This almost looks like wounds, maybe? Oh, do you think it's hounds? Hounds, but then what would this? Um, I'm it's all right. I think we got this one almost right. Oh, there's a word down here. Whoop, W-H-O-W, whoop, haste, ode, okay, ashes, haste, infantile, my only letters left are V and M, damn, yeah, I think I'm, I think I'm a little bit ahead of you. You are. All right. 14 is V. All right. There we go. All right. Hint of Riches is on right now. Go help watch a Hint of Riches. I hope everybody had a good time. Purtle Monday will be back next week. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your week. Take care, Take care everybody. Hint of Riches is the channel you should be watching now. <laughs> Bye.